John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hey there, this is John Alzheimer. I'm a consumer credit expert. I have almost, actually over 30 years of experience in the credit industry. I have spent time at FICO, which is the company behind the FICO credit scoring system, and Equifax, which is one of the three credit reporting agencies in the United States. So today I'm gonna to talk about Metro 2. So what is Metro 2? Why does it matter? Why is John taking time to discuss Metro 2? All right, so here's why it's important and here's what it is. Metro 2 is a language, so you, you know, basic, um, Fortran, you know, any of these old computer, like I'm kind of dating myself, any of these, you know, computer languages um, or software operating system languages, Metro 2 is really the same thing, except it is the credit reporting language. Uh, when you look at a credit report, you're looking at what's referred to as a disclosure, a consumer disclosure. It's the credit report that's formatted for consumer consumption. So you're probably getting it off of a website somewhere, annualcreditreport.com or one of the credit bureau's websites directly. It's color coded, it's in plain English text. So it's for people to read it and understand it because they have a right to see it periodically. That is not Metro 2. Metro 2 is a computer language. It's a comma delimited series of alpha characters and numer numeric characters in certain fields. And then these alpha and numeric characters are meant to represent certain things as it pertains to uh, the information that is furnished to the, um, to the credit reporting agencies by companies such as you know, Chase or Wells Fargo or any of the other companies that send information to the credit bureaus. Metro 2 has been around since before the turn of the century. It's not a new language. Um, it's not a, uh, a unique language to the credit bureaus that was just created a few months ago. It is a language that has existed uh, since before the turn of the century. In fact, there was a Metro before there was a Metro 2. So right now the credit reporting industry is on the second generation of the Metro language. The Metro language is used in normally in two scenarios. So one is the organic furnishing of information on the consumer's credit reports. In other words, if you have an active account with a creditor or you're an authorized user on someone's credit card, or you're a joint account holder, um, whatever the case may be, and the, the lender or debt collector is, or the servicer is furnishing information to the credit bureaus on a monthly basis, they're doing so in Metro 2. And Metro 2 is going to have, and the Metro 2 manual, there's actually a manual. It's, it's over 350 pages long, and so it's, it's very, very extensive, but I'm gonna give you just some brief examples. So there is Metro 2 codes for things like balances, the certain dates associated with your accounts, like date opened, um, if it's delinquent, it'll show the date of the first delinquency. If it's a terminal delinquency, it'll show dates of late payments, and it'll indicate um, payment ratings and account statuses, so things like whether or not the account is in bankruptcy, whether or not the account is in dispute. Um, it'll add context to the account, so it'll indicate, hey, this is an auto loan, this is a credit card, this is a mortgage, this is a charge-off, and so things like that, um, all of that contextual information about your accounts is all being furnished to the credit reporting agencies in Metro 2. Second, um, dispute responses and other dispute updates. And so if you challenge information on your credit reports with the credit reporting agencies, that's referred to as an indirect dispute. If you challenge information on your credit report directly with the furnishing party, that's called a direct dispute. There are certain forms that are used in the credit industry to communicate back and forth the credit bureaus with the furnishing parties, um, which we've discussed in other of these videos, ACDBs and AUDs, those forms communicate information back and forth in Metro 2. And so while, you know, sometimes consumers are like, well, I want to see the communication that you sent to the credit bureaus, or I want to see the communication that was shared back and forth between the debt collector and the credit reporting agencies. That's a reasonable request. The problem is, is that if you were to get this information, you wouldn't know how to read it because you, you know, what is, what does the code AU mean? And what does the code 
um, XB mean? And why? I don't understand what it means. What does an account status of six mean? So you know, the, the, just because you were to get one of these forms, it's almost like reading um, hieroglyphics or computer code. You wouldn't, unless you actually had the manual and you understood how to read the manual, you wouldn't know what it was that you're looking at. So hopefully that gives you some sort of an idea of Metro 2, what it's used for, why it exists. Um, all the credit reporting agencies use it. There is no other language. There's not a Metro 3 yet. Uh, there, it's, it's uniform across all 11,000 companies that send information to the credit bureaus. And so that's really why it exists, to offer uniformity in the reporting of information. Um, so I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day. We'll talk again soon. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.